My name is Millicent Rovello and I'm a plastic and reconstructive surgeon. I went to medical school at University of Southern California here in Los Angeles and then I did general surgery residency at LSU in New Orleans. I could eat like a gazillion beignets. <laughs> And then I did a second residency in plastic and reconstructive surgery, again at USC in Los Angeles. I was that oddball 11-year-old who was like, I'm going to be a doctor when I grow up. And everyone said, sure, okay, yeah, nice. But I was. Um, there was just really nothing else that I wanted to do. Plastics was something I decided to go into because I liked how it blended an artistic eye and some level of individual creativity. Um, with surgical and scientific precision. There is a misperception that plastic surgery is just cosmetic surgery and that it's a lot of breast augmentations, lip fillers, facelifts, which is true. We do all of that and we, we definitely love doing it. But if you've never had the misfortune of being in an accident or having any kind of deformity that you're born with or that you know somebody with, so a patient that's been in a car accident and has injuries to their face, to their hands, to their lower extremities, patients that have massive defects from cancer or are born with some kind of congenital deformity, those are the reconstructive surgeons that come in and fix and put back together the things that are not theoretically normal. So there's a lot that we do, especially in breast cancer reconstruction. Reconstructive surgery for the breast cancer patients is designed to give them hope to allow them to feel like they are not alone in this journey and that this cancer and this disease is not what's going to define them or their bodies. I don't know that I could pick just one um, because every single one of them I remember, almost each and every single one of them. And most of the time it's a very uplifting, gratifying experience, even for me as a physician, just to be able to see them and be with them and go through that. It's really quite a privilege for me actually. My life outside of medicine, um, I enjoy my life. I would say that in general, I'm a fairly private person, so I enjoy activities that allow me to kind of decompress from the outside world. I do have a 12-year-old son, so a lot of my time is spent with him doing whatever 12-year-old boys like to do. There's a lot of running around, there's a lot of going to parks, so hikes on a Saturday are something I really look forward to. Practicing yoga, running, a lot of solitary physical activities. <laughs> One of the first things I noticed when I came to interview and work at PIH Health was how amazingly sincere, nice, and caring everyone was, which seems like an obvious statement. It seems like if you work at a hospital, that's how everyone should be. But the fact that it struck me as um, obviously as it did made me realize that perhaps I hadn't had that in previous work environments. The level of caring and competency that everyone from CEO down to the maintenance people seem to have for this place, for this facility, for the patients, for everything.